What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi, and welcome to House of Miscellanea. Look at, look at, look at! I got a thing. This is the pen that I got from Leopard Leatherworks for the 24-hour um, the marathon for mental health. They sent me a pen as a thank you for doing that for the community. So I wanted to open this baby up. And I want to try it out, you guys. So let me let me get into. Let's see. I need something to open it, right? Got to do that. Um, here we go. I know, I know, I know. Probably shouldn't be using my, but they work for like everything, you guys. These these things do. All right. So let's see here. I want to see. I know what the blank is, but I did not get to see it turned. So usually when you purchase from Leopard Leatherworks, um, there's a couple different ways you can go about it, but they do a live blank sort of auction that you can watch. I believe that's on Mondays. Don't quote me on that, but uh, they have a live blank kind of bidding that you do. Um, you go on there, you, you watch, they set out the blanks, and um, if there's one that you really enjoy, it will have like a piece of paper and it will tell you the blank number. So it will be like B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. And then you uh, select which one you like. And let's say that you are all alone in the bidding for that particular blank to be turned. Um, then you win that blank. However, if it's you and, say, one or two or three other people, or 20, however many it happens to be, they put it into a the StreamYard giveaway kind of tool, but they use it for selecting who wins, right? And so everybody puts in hashtag B4 or whatever, if that's the number. And um, if, like I said, there's multiple people, it will go through and it will spin the wheel and then it will pick who wins just based on how many people put in that particular hashtag, that particular number, which I thought was a really cool idea, really uh, individual, you know, hadn't seen it before. Um, so kudos on them for, for finding a way to kind of keep it fair. I really liked that. And I believe that's on Mondays. However, you'll want to check Leopard Leatherworks YouTube, which I will link in the description, um, for further information. I don't want to give you wrong information. My understanding is that blanks are, um, with turning and a sort of individualized experience that you get from, uh, start to finish by picking the blank all the way to the end. Carrie kind of walks you through the process on how to measure your handhold. And uh, they have videos on um, how to do that. Then you select what kind of, uh, you know, handhold or whatnot that you want. And then when it's time to turn your pen, it's a pretty customizable experience. And you get to watch the pen being turned. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but the whole experience is $65. So you buy the blank, you get to, uh, kind of have a one on one on one on how you're going to have it turned, etc., And then you get to watch it turned. I thought that was really neat. Um, honestly, sometimes I just like to go over there and watch him turn blanks to see what it, you know, from a block of, you know, epoxy all the way to becoming a really beautiful item. Now, I know what my blank looks like, but I don't know what the turning looks like because mine was not done on a live. I'm kind of glad to because, you know, I like I like to keep some things a secret, but I'm interested to see what this is going to look like. Oh, okay. We got a little goodies bag. Oh my God, you guys, you have no idea how much I love Werther's original. <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go. Here's their business card. All right, so this is Carrie Costello. Uh, it is Carrie and Tim. Tim is the one who does the turning. Carrie is his wife. Um, but this is their business card over at Leopard Leatherworks. That's it on the on the back. But they are on Discord. You can even go on Discord and like voice chat with everybody. It's a really cool experience. 
Okay, and then we have, what else? Ooh, a Leopard Leatherwork sticker. I like it. That's going to go, I think, on my desk with my other stickers that I'm saving. And then where there's original. Okay, I'm going to have one of those right after this, I swear. I like the color coordinating that they got going on, too. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Well done on that packaging. Okay, and my blank is in here. My blank. It's not my blank. It's a pen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. Sorry if you don't like crinkly plastic. Let me just... Okay, there we go. Bubble, bubble wrap. Everybody likes bubble wrap, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I know what this is. Like I said, I got to see this already. Just a blank. I didn't, I didn't see any of the turning, like I said. But, sorry, struggle bus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. So this pen has gold flake, copper flake, and silver flake inside of the resin, you guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Tim, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this end on this is called a baseball bat end. And when they... um. This is what they recommend to people. I have not yet tried out a baseball bat end, but it looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. And I'm wondering if this is his, um, he has a turning style that he calls Morse code. Uh, I've only, I've watched a few videos and I've kind of seen like how he does things. And I think this is one of his Morse code turnings. But look at that, you guys. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can get some more light. Give me just a moment. Okay, I got some more light, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. You can tell that there's, like, s smoke. I'm going to call it smoke. The inside of the clear acrylic... Inside of the clear acrylic, they have put white acrylic. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous, Tim. Well, well done. Well done. This is a beautiful gift. Thank you so much. All right. So I even have out. Oh, I like the I like the handhold on it too. You're right that that baseball bat end is really nice to grip onto. And I feel like the Morse code, I think that's what that is. I hope I'm not wrong. Um I feel like it it falls right into my hand really nicely. I enjoy that. And I feel like I am I'm a hard I'm a hard placer, and this is what was recommended to me as far as uh, a turning for the ends because I'm a hard placer. So I think it's probably going to give me some more leverage to kind of push down on. I know it's not totally necessary. I try to be mindful of how hard I'm pushing, but oh my God, right there, that spot, look at that. Now, my understanding is that not all of their blanks are from other places, but some of them are. And this one was a blank that they had gotten from somewhere else and then turned. Um, I My understanding, though, is that they do also make their own blanks. Um, I think this was a cocoon blank, but I'm not positive. This is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, this feels very comfortable in the hand. So I am interested to see how it works out. Very symmetrical, very lovely. Very good job. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful present. Thank you so much. Okay, um, I am going to cut for a hot second so I can put an end on here. I do, I do want to do some placing with it before I end the video just to see what that kind of feels like. Okay, I'll be right back. Mm, one thing I did want to point out really quickly. So this is a Diamond Art Club uh, 
thin metal multiplacer right here. And uh, what I noticed was that without any washi tape, it's pretty snug in there. I didn't really have to do much. Yeah, I don't feel like I need any, I don't feel like I need any washi tape. And this, this end in here is really, really good. Really good, so. So, yeah, if you are interested in your own kind of immersive experience with their pen service, you need to go over to Leopard Leatherworks and actually I will keep their I will keep their little business card right there for you to see. Um because this is this is lovely. This is absolutely stunning. It feels really good so far. I mean, so I don't obviously I don't know quite yet cuz it's it's new, but um I'm going to see how this goes. Uh, yeah, that end actually went in there really, really well. Um, and I didn't have to, like I, like I said, I didn't have to put any washi on it. That was nice. Um, sorry, I'm a little picky about how I, <laughs> how I put on my stuff. Okay, uh... But yeah, I didn't I didn't have to put any washi on it. I mean, aside from yeah, it's going to spin a little, but that is not a problem. And as I said, I'm a hard placer, so I was told that this is this is the turning style. Oop, bumped you real hard. This is the turning style that I want. So, let me get into Now, um, $65 may not be in everybody's budget, but I do want you to keep in mind that it is a really personalized experience. They do stress that in, um, in that, you know, you've got kind of Carrie and Tim's undivided attention throughout the process, and that's really cool. I do know also that they are looking to get um, some more subscribers and I know that they were saying that if they hit 500 subscribers that they will um, do a 24-hour uh, turning event themselves so that's pretty cool I like a little bit of um, you know uh, a little bit of the the um, kind of idea traveling around. I like that. This this is really nice. I'm enjoying that. I I feel like I've got a good grip no matter where I go. I'm not usually a person to like go all the way to the end of the pen. So the fact that it's up here and I'm comparing it kind of to the pen that I usually use for thickness and if I'm grabbing here it's actually you know, just about right to what I grab here. So I'm, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of have like a little bit of up here action happening. Let me see. Mm. I really do enjoy that. I think... I think it is going to be okay. I just worry sometimes when pens are too thin because I've had issues in the past where if a pen is too thin, then I end up with some really serious carpal tunnel issues the following day. I don't necessarily notice them the day of, but I definitely notice them the day after. And so that's why I needed kind of a thick turning on mine. And so... I mean, so far it seems okay. I'm I'm not I'm not experiencing any issues yet. 
because the the like pinchier the grip I have to do the worse that that becomes for me so I also have to kind of be mindful of not holding on to the pen too hard because then I really kind of can do some damage but I really like this a lot so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that I enjoy this pen and I think that it will be a really nice addition to my actual using pen collection because I've had pens in the past I, I just I really can't do anything with them so that's why one of them's going to give away um, that I you know I used it once I couldn't do anything with it because of the carpal tunnel issues so I mean I'm I'm thinking this one's this one's going to stick around in the actual stash, the stash that I will keep. So, yeah, no complaints there. Um, again, if you want to get a Leopard um, Leatherworks pen that is all your own, you should go and check them out on YouTube. They've got a Facebook. Um, there's a Discord. Uh they always recommend that you go and like their Facebook page and then kind of start from there. You would message Carrie. Um, then eventually they'll have you join the Discord, you know, if you want to watch your pen being turned and all that fun stuff. So um, go and check out Tim and Carrie over at Leopard Leatherworks. In the meantime, uh, if you you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more diamond painting content from me or me reviewing things etc um, please leave a comment below subscribe to the page if you like subscribing to things and uh, yeah I'll I'll catch you on the next one guys meanwhile I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on doing this <laughs> but as ever, I hope that wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, you are having a beautiful morning, evening, or afternoon. I will see you again soon, guys. Bye-bye.